This is a prototype of a screen powered game I made in the first three days of work on this project. But, but before we. But before. But before we go here, let's go back to why and how all of this went down. This all started when I was sitting down in my mom's basement and I was thinking about horror games and how they try their best to scare the players and make them scream. And after some few hours of thinking, my sick mind thought about this. Instead of trying to make the players scream, why not make a game in a way that they have to scream or they will be in heaven or if they were good people, then hell. And that's how it all started. We start this one with one of humanity's greatest mistakes, guns. I drew many different types, but I thought the laser cannon design would fit quite nicely with a space theme game. I made more designs for this mistake, for the purpose of different levels and animations, and just like that, we have enough weapons to torture suspicious creatures. I'm honestly not creative, so if you have name suggestions for this, tell me. So now let's move to stage 1, which is level design, but let's start with the outside. I added a background with stars to deceive people it's in space, like the moon landings and I stole some planet models from Victor on itch.io. But enough of the outside, let's make the inside. All I did was make a spaceship body and added a window. But what if I told you that window is all lies and deception? And it is. That window is a square hole covered by a circle. And if you squint your eyes, you can see a little gap. But who cares? Then I did more interior decorations, like adding whatever that is, and a light switch, which looks extremely futuristic. But to avoid wasting too much time adding unnecessary features, I moved on to make some physical objects. First we make a ground, throw some collisions on it, and it's alive. Then cover the top and bottom, and we're done. No we're not. Now we add those laser cannons, and they fit properly. Next up, we have to set up sound detection, which is extremely complicated because it's just one button. Now if you look at the left, you can see how loud I'm screaming, which is very loud, and my neighbors probably think I'm with a woman, but they should know better. Now we need lasers so the laser cannon can actually shoot something, because that's all you sick people want to see. And I designed a script that checks if the player screams loud enough, and then it shoots. I made the scream requirements very high at first, but I had to test the game myself, and my throat started hurting, so now you don't have to cry for help to shoot a laser. I gave the laser cannon some personality and threw in a joystick so it can spin. Normally, to make a spin motion, we just make the joystick angle be equal to the direction of the laser cannon, but the movement is very shitty. Fortunately enough, I'm very good at math and I created this formula for the joystick to make the movement more annoying but fluid at the same time. All you need to move is the left and right and the top and bottom are very useless. I added music and then I remembered that people with big speakers can use it to beat the game so I deleted the sound but left the laser sound effects because it's cool and triggers my PTSD. But it's time to finally torture a creature so I drew some lines, squeezed some lines and pow, movie magic. For some reason, this looks like the ghast in Minecraft and I feel disappointed that Minecraft will steal from me but I won't sue them for now. But just to clear up confusions, this is a demon, and this is a space demon. Remember those portals I made in my last video and ended up not using? Well, they fit perfectly here. And I used this simple script to spawn enemies out of the portal, and it works properly if you're trying to fry your CPU. You know what's better than one portal? Two portals. At this point, the basic mechanics work really well, and I'm really happy with this. But we have one problem. Mr. Space Demon is retarded. He has no idea who the enemy is and needs directions. So with this simple script, he at least knows what to do. And now multiple Mr. Space Demons will come way too close to you. Hopefully this laser cannon is older than 18, so it's fine. So let's throw a life bar so the enemies can go to hell when they die. And just like that, this is almost playable. Now one thing I had to stop was the fact that you can hit enemies before they are visible. And for some reason, my solution to this was to make a big wall that blocks the lasers from reaching the enemy. But Ooga Booga, cave membrane, that also blocks the enemies from reaching the player. 
But there's a simple way around this. We just make a script that destroys the laser if they go too far. Then of course I give the laser cannon a life bar, so it can also go to hell, the restart menu. And pretty much this is a playable level that can be won easily. But instead of going to the next level like a loser, why not make a level transition? Which is the laser cannon falling and eventually falls into a portal which takes you to the next level. At least that's what it's meant to do, but it does this instead. But it does not affect the gameplay, so fuck it. Let's move on to level 2 and start by designing an enemy which was meant to be a rolling saw but that's too generic. So I made the second enemy as a bacteria instead and I made different shapes of it so it can be animated and of course I redesigned the level and it looks like a dark mode version of the original. Moving back to the bacteria, I made it have more health to the Mr. Space Demon but there's a twist. Instead of these ones coming way too close to you, you can fend them away by shooting them with lasers. And this works by reducing the exposition of the bacteria when the laser touches them. And here comes another twist. They come in pairs of two, which still makes them very annoying and they can also assault you properly. And another thing I thought was cool to add was to make the enemies take time to spawn so they can always catch you off guard. Enough of this stupid level. Let me show you something 100 times better. Level 3. Of course I changed the color scheme, but that's unimportant. What's important here is the enemy. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you this big blob with 10 HP and is big for nothing. Now you might say, but Daniel, why did you make the weakest enemy in level 3? And oh boy are you about to piss yourself. Okay look at this, you shoot big blob and oh fuck oh shit, you now have 3 blob hordes with a combined health of 300 that are all independent and small. Just for comparison, level 1 and 2 enemies have a combined health of 210 and this has a combined health of 310. Now you get to eat your words and please clean yourself up. And they don't attack together so all of them deal damage on the laser cannon and once they get close enough, there's no use trying anymore, just give up, fuck John Cena. Don't forget those glitchy level transitions, they're still important. And you know what that means right? Level 4. Now you might not understand why I'm designing this level like this, but if you've been paying attention, you'll notice that these are the 3 colors from the last 3 levels, except for the window design and a different planet. Do you understand what that means? Well instead of making a new enemy which is boring, I thought I'd add all the enemies from the last 3 levels. To create a very obnoxious environment of all three of these bastards. The ghast knockoff? Check. The malaria parasite? Check. And of course fat bub. I mean fat blub. Check. The only difference is that these ones are on crack and that's basically level 4. I realize I have 5 fingers so I thought I end it at level 5. Instead of using those glitchy level transitions, I designed something special for this one. Let's set the scene here. You're going to another level as normal, through the portals, but oh no, who expected this? A big space rock hits you unconscious and all you see is literal stars. And then what happens next will be crazy. Welcome to level 5. This is the final level, so it's going to be different. No spaceship, no portals and no windows. Just you, the ground and the stars. If you notice, the laser cannon is hardly visible here, so I just slapped a big sprite of earth at the back and now I don't need to worry about that again. And check this out, I made the life bar the same color as the background and it looks sick. And it's time for the enemy. Now this guy might not look intimidating at first, but we give him crack and he's having a seizure. Unlike the other enemies, this one works very differently. Like for example, it throws these energy blasts that kind of look like Pokemon balls. And I swear this is a coincidence, and if it's not, then I'll be suing Nintendo too. As I was saying, what happens here is that this big guy teleports to the other side and every time he does that, he leaves one of these big energy blasts which are heading for the player and are totally destructible. I thought it would be funny to add his health bar below him, but I remembered that I'm not funny. So just picture this life bar as a hoverboard, but it's a life bar. And if you're wondering how much health points this guy has, it's 500. And of course I didn't find the enemy annoying enough. So I made him spawn enemies when his life drops occasionally. But don't worry, I excluded the blob because I hate it too. The combined HP in the final level is 1000, so it's really fun to play now. Then I fixed some bugs 
and made an end screen where the final enemy implodes and turns into mush. And if you actually reach here, I advise you to go to the nearest hospital because you've probably damaged your vocal cords and I will take zero responsibilities for that. Then I made a main menu and an about screen which is just blatant self-promotion and a new mode which is called impossible mode. But all I did was steal the first level of the original game and loop the enemy spawn so it's endless. If you want to try the game out, you can join my discord and if you ask me, I'll send it to you. And if you're scared I'll give you a virus, I suggest you watch the gameplay. And if I didn't get lazy, it'll be out right now on my second channel. Links to everything will be in the description. Anyways, a big thank you for watching. And if you're new here, I suggest you check out my other videos. But for now, goodbye and see you in the future.